To sign up for a MyViewBoard account, head over to MyViewBoard.com. In the top right, find the Sign Up link. On this page on the left, you'll see a welcome screen as well as three different ways that you can sign up. If you're using Google, you can click the Sign Up with Google to use Google Single Sign-On. If you use an Office 365 account, you can use Microsoft for Single Sign-On as well. If you don't want to use either of those services, you can use any email. Simply type your name, email, and choose a password and then agree to the My View Board service and terms. Once you finish signing up, you'll get a customization screen. This is just going to ask you a few questions, so we can go through this pretty quickly. Make sure you click the agreement and then choose Finish Setup. Once you finish setup, it's really important that we do a couple quick things for our account. In the top right, you'll see my view board name, as well as a login email. Both of these are the same right now, but we want this my view board name to be different. So we're going to choose the person and go to edit account. This takes you to the account edit page where we can choose an avatar. Click Upload when you're finished. You can change your first and last name if you want that to be different. And then where it says your My View Board name, we want to change this to something that is easy for students to access. This is essentially a portal that they can type in. So myviewboard.com slash your My View Board name. You'll learn more about the portal later, but trust me, you don't want this to be an email. That's just too long. So I'm going to change this one to my teacher name. Note that I can't have any spaces, so I'm going to have to keep that all together. When you're finished, go ahead and click confirm. You'll get a notification that says if you're already signed in that you'll be signed out. Since this is our first time, we're just going to click confirm and then we're going to get the success notification. This does have to be unique. so. If someone else already chose your name, then you might get a little warning that says you need to pick something different. Below this, you'll notice that there's a security feature. This is just an auto sign out time. So this chooses how long it waits until it signs you out of myviewboard.com. I'm gonna leave mine on for four hours. Other account things you can configure are your profile if you wanna change any of that or choose your email notification preferences.